but um, you know, this is where all this is where it all began for me before I even I met, met up with Rocksteady back in 1981. From 76 to like around 78, everything I done was over in this area, and then you know I started going to the Bronx jams and you know East Side challenging Wayne and them. You know, this is known today as Float Committee. Oh, okay. Anybody else live around here that you Um, basically that's it. Like, like only one other only other person that live around here is Fable, and there's a few others that's slowly but surely getting involved. You know, so like I'm just trying to tell them. You know, they'll like the guys around here. They'll always they'll come to the Rock City anniversary. I try to do something around here, but you know, everybody's so much scattered. You know, or could I say that they get involved or they don't get involved? You know. Then when they see things happening, then they start seeing videos and footage and stuff like that, you know. And then, they, then when they finally see Studio Y, oh, then they, now they know I got it going on and doing a little something. <laughs> so you gonna show us footage now? All right. So what's up, y'all? This is Big Tara from the B Girl Chronicles on Triad Visions. I'm coming to you live from the crib of the one and only B Boy Frosty Freeze. Say what's up, Frosty. Hey, peace to everybody out there, all the B-boys and B-girls, and to the Rock City crew, of course, Zulu Kings, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And um, coming to you live from here at the Frosty Freeze apartment up on the Upper West Side. And what am I What's up, y'all? It's Big Tara from the B-Girl Chronicles on Triad Vision. I'm coming to you live from the crib of the one and only B-boy, Frosty Freeze. Say what's up, Frosty. Peace to everybody out there, to all the B-boys and all the B-girls from all the crews out there, Rock City Crew, Zulu King, coming to you live from the Upper West Side, the Frosty Freeze Apartment. You know, what I'm about to do right now is take y'all in the shop. I'll pass, show you some old footage of, you know, back in the days when we first started out, an exclusive video battle between the Rock City Crew and the Floor Masters, which became later on known as the New York City Breakers showing you some old pictures in my tape collection and then we'll probably go over to the schoolyard where I first began and then take a little trip to the Rock City Park. Sounds uh, very historical. Thanks. What's up y'all? This is Big Tower from the B-Girl Chronicles on Triad Vision. I'm coming to you live from the crib of the one and only B-Boy Frosty Freeze. Say what's up Frosty. First of all, I want to say peace to you and yours, and peace to B-Girl Tower, and peace to the Rocksteady crew, all the B-Boys and all the B-Girls from all over, and coming to you live from the Frosty Freeze apartment from the Upper West Side. And what, what's going what's gonna to happen now is I'm going to take you inside the room of, of my room and show you some old footage and some live like battles between us and the floor masters, which became later on known as the New York City Breakers, and show you my tape collections of all my break beats, live battles from back in the days, you know, mixed tapes and stuff like that. And then we'll go outside, show you about the area where I first began breaking, and then, you know, where it all blew up at the Rock City Park, which is now located on 99th and Amsterdam Avenue. Sounds great, Frosty. Let's start uh, the tour. You know, I think that that's true of all hip hop people. <laughs> Our rooms are a little cluttered because we just gotta collect everything. from the B-Girl Chronicles on Triad Vision. We coming to you live from the crib of the one and only B-Boy, Frosty Freeze. Say what's up, Frosty. First of all, I want to say peace to you, B-Girl Tower, and peace to the Rock City crew, and all the B-Boys and B-Girls all over, and we coming to you live from Frosty Freeze's apartment from the Upper West Side. And what we're about to do is, I'm about to take y'all inside my room and show you some old footage of 
back in the days, a, a b-boy contest, which I um, won up at Spin Easy, and a live footage battle between us and the Rock Steady, between the Rock Steady crew and the new, and the Floor Masters, who became later known as the New York City Breakers, live from back in 1982, and show you my um, my collections of my tapes featuring you know old school battles, live battles on tapes and um, break beats and you know music, and then we're gonna take it outside to where it all began from my from myself and take you on a little trip by the Rock City Park. Sounds great. Let's start the tour. Well, here are some awards right there. And this is his... Uh, huge collection of Kung Fu flicks. Now I know a lot of b-boys have collections of Kung Fu flicks. It's a great place to, you know, come up with move ideas. Here's his uh, massive collection of b-boy videos. And uh, Frosty, yeah Frosty, tell us more. Right here. Right here is my t my t collection of all my tapes featuring like live battles from you know my DJs or uh, mixed tapes and um, you know old school stuff um, you know a variety of everything from R and B to hip hop to funk music to electro funk and um, got my little kicks here a little um converse here with the B boy look with the the fast shoelaces, the show top Adidas, not the not the real official ones, but you know, updated as you can see here. And um, what I'm about to show you right now is a footage back in um back in 1980, 81 to 82, featuring one of one of our um our rock steady um dances from the electric for from the electric company, featuring Ross Sean, better known as Kippy D, rest in peace. Keith and Robbie and them, and then the footage of of me and Crazy Legs and Ken Swift and us in a b-boy contest way back in the days before you have all these other events now, and a lot and a, an exclusive battle between us and the Floor Masters, which became later on known as the New York City Breakers. So let's check it out. Hi. Uh, this old school footage. Actually, Henry Charfont gave me this footage because Crazy Legs one time had shown this footage in his house, and you know, being that like this is very hard to get. In fact, this is the type of footage that it couldn't even be put out for sale or nothing like that because the people that did this video is no longer in business. So you know, there's a law against that, and especially when it says um, for promotional copy only, not for sale. You know that would be a slight problem. So this is like footage that when even, vid even video cameras and all that wasn't out back then, you know. So this is like, you know, real-to-real -real footage that's, that's very authentic, you know. That's really, really dope. <laughs> I feel honored. It's all good. I'm just right now just rewinding the tape and, you know, we will see some footage that, you know, that won't that you won't hardly ever see, and this is footage that, you know, how it was back in the early 80s, before videos, you know, and all this other stuff started being more technology and more advanced, as you see today, you know, because today's videos, as you see today, is more like people can focus more on it and get a general idea and, you know, start creating, start creating such devastating moves such as you know with the b-boys creating all these kind of moves and with the DJs creating all these techniques on the turntables and you know MCs you know coming up with creative lyrics and stuff that is messed up
this is when when Alex, when um, pop is, when what you call electric boogie first came out. You know, these were one of the um first guys around here that start, that put, you know start bringing it to the scene. That's 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 um that's Andre. He's part of Rocksteady at one time. There goes that's the that's those right there. Doing his little up rocking um routine or so. It's the stop talking now, bro. We just see what we see. That's Chino and that's, that's Chino right there from what I call he had just gotten down with us. That's, 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 that's my man Jose. His brother was an original B boy back in the days, Alberto. He's in a wheelchair now and he's doing time, so that's when he first started out. You know, this is his famous move that we got him involved in the spider. What do you want to do that real good now is ill will. This, this is here. This is sleeper right here. See, that's the original Aspen to Backspin and Freeze, you know. This is baby. This is baby loves brother and This is Devious Doe's Rock Steady Crew. You'll see them later on in the arc in a con in a um, in a competition that we had at Spin Easy Golden Ring. If you notice the fashion with the BVDs and the nylon, there's that's that's my Sean. Better know this Kip D. Rest in peace. That's Kip Keith. That's Kip D. Right there. Better know this my Sean. And that's Robbie with the, with the um, hat on there. He's the one that showed them how to start doing the wave and all that. He came from. He bought that from California. Was showing them. This is even before Fable and Wiggles and them were around. Come on, This is located at 99th Street in Broadway. I forgot the name of the place that they, what they called it at the time. This was at a group called the South Soul Brothers Anniversary. Us, me and Legs and them weren't there, but they were, you know, this is when we missed out on something very, very, that turned out really good. And that girl right there, they go baby love. That's, a, that's, a, that's being hugged by Doe. That's Robbie Rock. They're getting ready to do the On The Way, which is a very popular routine put together back in the early 80s. And in the background is, is, is the um, Shamrock crew, MC. That's Mr. Please. Not Mr. Freeze, Mr. Please. I used to call him King Keith. call him King Keith. He was real good back then. He could do the lean. He was one of the first ones to do the worm. And he was the, one of the first ones to bring book to all popping around here, which we call the lecture book. The Kippy, which Rashawn was transformed from a B-boy and in that era to the to popping scene, you know. Because that's what most of the B-boys started doing, you know. And it's Robbie. It's Robbie, one of the innovators of some of the stuff that he's doing in the that, you know, he used to do stuff to hide the